Have you noticed that the word short has a long vowel, the word long has a short vowel, and the word diphthong has two monophthongs? Well, let's see what we can do about that. Shot vowels, anyone? Nah, didn't think so. Welcome to the POG. Hello. This week I'm on class three of the pronunciation course, which is all about short vowels. It's one of the few things that everyone seems to agree on in phonetics. I, u, e, o, a, a form a neat group of short sounds. But they are challenging in their own way. In particular, there's the triangle of sounds, i, u, a, which orbit the schwa in the middle, and these are difficult for a lot of learners because they require a placement of the tongue that is in between two sounds. I is in between a uh and e. U uh is in between a uh and u, and a uh is in between a uh and a. Uh. You can see pictures of these positions on the vowel charts on the podcast page of the Pronunciation Studio website or on our YouTube channel. Another tricky thing about some of these vowels are their spellings. U uh shares two O's with U, so how do you know it's U uh in good but U uh in food? Well, you just have to learn them. Some things are like that, sorry. The U uh sound has a lot of O spellings, so don't round the lips in things like flood and love. And I think a lot of learners are tempted to say E when they see one letter I. But in English, these are lower, e, like in pen. Of course, there are some weird spellings of that sound too, like in women and busy. But on the whole, if you learn the mouth positions and spellings along with any exceptions, these short vowels should be pretty straightforward. Well, I'm glad that's in the bag. Wait a moment. Did I just say glad? And then, bag? Hang about, that's supposed to be short ah, isn't it? Like in back. Bag, back. Something smells bad here. Yep, you knew there would be one, didn't you? Ah is a bit of an exception in GB English. Whilst all the other short vowels are pretty much always short, ah likes to become a long vowel sound before voiced consonants, so lab is long, but lap is short. Well, now that's done, I think we've all earned our short vowel badge. Question. 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 You are. I had the same question in from several Pronunciation Studio followers this week, and it was this. Why? Now, this refers to a photo I posted of an old sign for the Regent Theatre in Norwich. Did you hear that? Theatre. You'll notice that I actually said s for the t. Listen again. Theatre. Yes, it really is an s, as if it were spelt with an s. This happens in general British when there's a t after a stressed vowel and before a weak vowel. So, litter is litter, water is water, and theatre is theatre. Whenever I post this, people write in saying they're amazed, but it's true. However, this week I had a message from Steve asking me why it happens, and I must say I had never really considered this. The clear roots of GB English, or Standard Southern if you prefer that name, are from Cockney and RP. Now, if you say theatre in Cockney, you'll get a glottal stop, theatre. And if you say it in RP, you'll get an alveolar t with possibly a little bit of aspiration, theatre. So how did we end up with s in GB? Well, the process starts as affrication, so the t gets a little s after it, t, theatre. And then it just goes the whole hog and becomes s because nobody really notices the difference. Theosa. Especially when you say it quickly like that. Theosa. It is found in some accents. Scouse. Theosa. And Brummie. Theosa. So why is it spread to GB? I don't know. 
but I guess it's a bit like this. A glottal stop sounds too casual. Theatre. And a slightly aspirated T sounds a bit too posh. Theatre. A voiced D or flap sound American. Theatre. So I guess it's gone in the only direction that is none of those. A softer, splashier T. But if you have a better explanation, please do send it in. Likewise. If you have a question, do get in touch via the socials, via the Pronunciation Studio website, or email me joseph.hudson at pronunciationstudio.com. Thanks for listening. Speak soon. Ah!